The Balkan state of Montenegro is one of the hidden gems in Europe, and I'll show you some impressions from Porto and Peras in this video. So I'm about to leave Budva now and uh, I'm so happy because the sun came out, uh, the, the forecast was actually predicting uh, rain, uh, but now here we are uh, with the sun, so that's really nice. Um, and this is the old town of uh, Budva, I found this spot here, it's kind of like uh, yeah, full of graffiti and yeah, not really used anymore, probably the locals hang out in the evening here. I want to try hitchhiking for the first time in Montenegro uh, to Kotoa. So it started to rain, <laughs> that's what I was uh, expecting actually. But uh, luckily I made it to this church and it's um, a really nice uh, church, actually it reminds me of a computer game, uh, Diablo. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm kind of waiting now until the rain stops. I took over 400 pictures already, <laughs> it was quite a nice day. And yeah, now I'm getting cold and also hungry, so better get out of here. Um, just make it to the top quickly, it's maybe another 10 minutes and then I'll go down. So I made it to the top now and actually the sun tries to get out, uh, rain uh, is getting less as well so that's good news and uh, yeah I'm really hungry but I think I will hang around for, yeah, for maybe 20 more minutes. A cameraman for me, uh, one of the Dutch guys. What's your name actually? Casper, and Kasper. I am from Poland actually. Ah, that. he's from Poland. But this guy is from, from the Netherlands. Uh, and yeah, so more people are coming up now actually, uh, now that the sun comes out. And yeah, 
I think I've been up here for three and a half hours now and I was hungry before I came up so now I um, well, probably will wait another half an hour to get some pictures with the sun on the top of the town and then I will finally go down. Bye bye! So I made it to the viewpoint after one hour uh, from the church um, and yeah, pretty incredible view here. We'll just uh, get up a bit further to the pass. Yeah, on the way down I will actually follow the correct path because I took a lot of shortcuts. It's quite nice to see the castle from that high above. Checking the shuttle now, actually, a taxi for six people um, to Dubrovnik. And uh, because of that, we have to stop here in Pedas because Pedas is really amazing, actually. It looks really nice. And um, yeah, but I have to hurry a bit because the taxi driver is waiting. <laughs> Thank you so much for sticking around to the very end of this video. I really hope you liked the content and if you did, please consider subscribing using the bell icon as well to make sure you're not missing any of the new content. And I would also love to hear about your feedback in the comments.